potato. It is our final lesson on our sweet potato instructions today. And even though it's the end, we're going to go back to the beginning of our writing. So what are we going to be doing? We are going to use the introductory features of some instructions. We're going to make sure we've got a good title. We're going to write an introduction and then we're going to use some bullet points to make a list. So let's have a little reminder. What are the six main features of instructions that we talked about last week? Have a little think. And then once you've done that, think about this, that some instructions include an introduction, not all of them, but some of them do, before the command sentences. What is the job of an introduction? What is the purpose? Why is it there? Why do some instructions have an introduction? That almost rhymes. So pause the video and have a think, why might we need an introduction before we crack on with the bossiness? So I'm hoping that you've had a little think about the job of an introduction. We'll come back to that in a second. So I will talk you through what we're actually going to do today. We're going to put in some missing parts from our instructions. We've got three things that we need to add. So we need to add our title, what you'll need, and an introduction. So with a title, we basically need to explain what these instructions are. And a lot of the time, instructions have a title like how to make whatever it is that you want to make, how to do this, how to do that. Or it could be something like um, instructions for a sweet potato teddy or whatever it is. But the title needs to explain what it is that these are instructions for. And you'll also need a list of things that you'll need, because I think we talked about this before, that it's nice to be able to get everything out ready before you start making. So if you're doing a nice bullet point list of all the things that we used to make our sweet potato teddy, have a think about what was in the pack that you got from school with all of the bits in. Don't forget things like needles, things that you might have provided from home as well, like scissors. They will all need to go in your list. So an introduction, that's going to go between your title and the list of things that you'll need. And I, on the next slide, I've put an example. I haven't written one for soup potato. I've written one for some cooking to give you an idea of the kinds of things we need to include in our soup potato introduction. So let's look at what we actually need to include in our introduction. <clears throat> it goes after the title, like I've already said, and before the list of what you need or the ingredients if it's baking. The idea, the job of an introduction is to persuade someone that they need to follow the instructions and actually make the product. They need this product in their life. It's also nice to include a question, which I'll give you an example of on the next slide, and tell them why the product is a great thing to make. It might also be good to include a piece of advice for them to use while they're doing their making. So let's have a look at an example. The example that is going to come up in the video is also in your home learning pack. So you can see it there as well. So this is my example and you can see I've got the title. The instructions that would follow this would be for how to make a pasta salad. So that is the title, how to make a pasta salad. Everybody then knows what they'll get at the end of it. So you can see I've included a question to begin with. Have you ever made a pasta salad? And then I've included something that makes it sound really good. You should because it's delicious. It's also really easy to make. So telling them it's not hard. It's quite quick, quite easy. Then I've done my piece of advice. You might need an adult to help you with pouring the boiling water because you need to use really hot water when you make a pasta salad. This recipe is tasty with mayonnaise, but it's even better with a honey and mustard dressing. Give it a try. So in your soup potato one, you could start with a similar question to this one. You could also say that it's quite easy to make. Again, you might want to say that someone will need an adult to help them. Think about which bits are tricky in your soup potato. So in which bits might an adult need to help with? And then you could also give some examples of what you could use the soup potato teddy for. Maybe it's good for cuddling and snuggling. Maybe it's good to act out soup potato stories. Maybe you could suggest that they could make an evil pea and they could make up their own adventure stories. Whatever you like, give them a reason. Tell them why this soup potato teddy is really cool. And then at the end, I said, give it a try just to try and egg them on a little bit to make it. So you can see this is my introduction for pasta salad and I've given you some ideas there for soup potato teddies. If you want to talk about this with an adult, that's absolutely fine. If we were in school, we would be working together on this in a group. So if you want to talk to an adult and have some help on writing this, then that's great. So your job for today 
in your home learning pack is a piece of paper with a superhero border it's just got some lines on it you can use that if you like to write your title your introduction and the list of what you'll need to make a sweet potato teddy i know that some of you have started to make an instruction booklet so this will be the first page that goes before step one in all of your instructions when you write your list of what you'll need you need to do a bullet point so be like a little dot black felt next dot brown felt so each thing that you'll need will go on a new line with a bullet point at the beginning persuade someone they need a sweet potato in their life and then when you have done that you can send us a picture of it we would love to see your writing and the email addresses on the slide so this is our last lesson today on these instructions good luck i'm looking forward to being persuaded to make a sweet potato